Hello, I'm Daniel from IGN, and today I'm joined by Adam Barty, who's the European Community Manager for ProEva. Hi, Dan. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. Um, so today we're going to go through the very new version of PES 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, so with first half, we're going to just like play a match. We're going to make you play this match because okay. you're the man with the PES skills. I am the PES Messiah. I have so that. Um, this is just a demo, so we haven't got all the teams. That's important just to flag that up. Yep. Uh, but who are you going to go for, do you think? Well, and, uh, you know, it's a video that's going to a lot of people, so I'm probably going to be the strongest team against the weakest team, obviously, okay. just to make sure I win this one. Uh, to be fair, it's extremely difficult. Um, this actual build as well, hopefully, is the one that um, everyone's going to be playing um, after they see this video at Gamescom. Okay. So it's a nice little exclusive for you guys, just to show people the game. Is this uh, <clears throat> possibly going to come out to a, a demo to Xbox Live or PSN, mm. maybe? Possibly, yeah. We're, we're still going through all the checks and stuff, okay. as you know. But I think the most important thing for us is to get the game out the best possible way. Okay, so you're going into game plan here. I just want to show you're everybody a serious the game player. Plan. Okay. Well, no, I mean I think first of all it's it's a really cool look that we've had over the years. Yep. I think uh, it was brought in in 2012. But what you have here is just a really clean look to the players. As soon as you click them, you get like a menu and details. A lot of the fans want that that little he um, hexagon on the PS6 back in yep. the day. Yep. So you got that little cool stuff as well. So I just wanted to show people that, and then. Pez is serious on the strategy, uh, so so here you can see how you can change all your game and stuff. But I won't bore you too much. How much do you usually get quite involved with that? M myself personally, yeah, especially with this Pez as well, because it's a game which is all about balance. Really, it's about the big teams being able to be beaten by the smaller okay. teams. So, so a really good strategy can combat somebody who likes to run down the wing with a really quick winger and cross the ball in. But all um, that sort of stuff's optional, though. Like hundred percent. Yeah. 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 That is for the connoisseurs, I should say. Right. Okay. If you want to go uh, in and really get. See, in. this is my the first thing about um, Pro Evo this year is just like look how good that looks, Pez, this mm. year. Well, like, this the stadiums is, look fantastic. Well, the, you know, we are now using Fox Engine. Yeah. And this is the biggest reason why anybody who needs convincing of Pez or I think needs convincing that we have changed things up. Okay. This is the biggest reason that we're using Fox Engine and it's, a, it's an engine which has got a lot of hype from outside the football community as well. Because I think a lot Kojima. of people probably know this through Kojima. It's exactly. using the name of his company Fox, but also it's used in Metal Gear Solid 5. Absolutely. Um, but it's not just kind of a superficial thing, which is great as well. Like, of course. you know, people care about graphics. Mm -hmm. But what kind of other things does it bring to the? There's a number of things really, which I which I can talk about. I mean, Fox Engine is the engine in the in the heart of this game, but it allows us to do so much more. One of the key things for me is something called True Ball Tech, which we brought in, which is the freedom of the ball, separation of the ball and the player. In the in the past Pro Evos, as soon as you passed the ball to a player the player and the ball would become one object. So you'd yeah. be attacking the player and the ball. Whereas this year, full separation. Actually, I've been playing the game quite a bit recently. I think that's the biggest thing I noticed. But mm -hmm. that feels like football. Like, I yeah. play football. Well, maybe not so much anymore. But um, that's the thing. It's not magnetically stuck to you. And yeah. it takes a little bit of time to get used to that. Because I think most of the football games out there, you're kind of used to, I've got the ball, it is one entity. Yeah, exactly. Um, and along with that, you know, with the Fox engine, it allows us to create amazing graphics, but we've also got the animations, which is brought in with something called Mass, which is Motion Animation Stability System. Okay. And that allows us to do real-time physics. It's a reaction of the player and, it's, and his surroundings and the ball and and its surroundings as well. Okay, so, so is that like when, what I've noticed is lots of like nice little contextual animations where I've been playing, so yeah. if a, like a pass goes a bit stray, a player will like stick out their leg to kind of trap it and stuff Absolutely, like that? Absolutely, yeah. A lot of the animations need to be context. Um, a lot of the fans especially have been wanting Pez to have a brand new engine, mainly for the visuals, mainly for it to look realistic. So when a, a player passes the ball, it's actually context to real life and the, the result of an action looks realistic. It's something that you would see on TV. You see a little back flick there. I think that's the stuff that looks really realistic. When two players come together and you see like their arms, they've got a lot of kind of self-awareness with their body. That's right, yeah. And it's the weight as well, which, you know, the users, when they, when they do play the game, they'll be able to know what I'm on about regarding the weight of the player as well. It's very realistic, something about Something that we want to do this year is really bring a full simulation experience to the user as well. So it's not exactly something that you might master straight away, but you'll certainly enjoy straight away. 
Thank God, no, you're saving that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's quite hard to talk and play at the same yeah, time, yeah, isn't very it? Yeah, difficult. But I mean, one thing that hopefully you can hear is, is the crowd as well. It's something that we're tweaking beyond, you know, going going forward. You can start hearing the crowd whistle because it's the away team taking the corner. Um, it's something called heart of football, which we brought in, which is something that I spoke about before regarding the smaller teams being able to combat the bigger teams. So, right, just going to this bit more. Heart is kind of one of those intangible qualities but everyone who plays football watches football football knows how much passion and spirit means to the game and to the sport in general how do you translate that into a, a mechanic or a feature yeah sure so in the base of it in pez we've always had four arrows but now we also have this heat map on the player which you can see in game plan and this actually starts off as blue as like a lukewarm feel some players who are captains of the team will actually start off red to show that they're very, very motivated for the okay. game. And the way that that sort of changes throughout the game and also, I should say, throughout your Master League season is how the player performs during an action. So if you make a successful pass, he'll slowly go more warmer with more motivation. If he makes a miss, he'll become less motivated and, and you know, really upset as well. So how does that actually affect what they can do in the game? So it's the stats, really. It sort of gives them a little boost. OK. So... If a player scores a great goal, or actually a, a great example is this, you are 2-0 down and you score a goal to, to bring it back to 2-1, there's this boost of okay. your whole team to try and fight back and to create, you know, like as you get when you're playing away from home, the home team usually raises its game. Yep. And it's that way of trying to emulate that feeling of playing away. So when you do watch a Champions League game, for example, Celtic against Barcelona when they won at Celtic Park, you'll feel that you know, hang on a minute, that was... You know, 12th 12, 12 man, but not the referee. Yes, absolutely, as well. And it's difficult to bring that in, I guess, in a way where, where the user doesn't feel cheated as well. I was well. going to say, because I yeah. think the big concern in a lot of previews, and I think I mentioned it in mine, was the kind of the balancing thing. How do yeah. you kind of police that and make it fair? Because you don't want, suddenly, you've scored a goal and the person who's leading 2-1, they've done well throughout the majority of the match, yeah. they suddenly put at a disadvantage just because the other two players score one goal. I think I think it's going to be a really compelling reason to play a single player career more, more so. Okay. It's an option which you can turn off in multiplayer so if you're playing competitively or anything like that and it's not something that's activated um, online which I think shows that we do listen to the concerns of people when we actually introduced this the first question was from pro player who said hang on a minute is that going to mean that I can't you know I'm going to get duped out of winning a game of because course, of the yeah. system which is completely fair and until people experience it and actually believe in it then maybe we can go forward and, and implement it across the game but as long as it's done perfectly and not in a way which is extreme Okay, so I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Okay. Say I've, this is true, I used to play PES a lot when I was back at university. Yeah. Say I haven't played it for a few years, but, you know, I'm interested because of the Fox engine and I've heard that. What, what, what's the big reason, you think, to lure me back this year? I think the biggest thing for me is this, is, is, it, is actually the brand new engine. People have wanted PES to change, PES yeah. to, to become new. And I think... The, 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 the biggest reason is this new dedication with the new engine, with re reimagining the game um, in terms of making it extremely realistic, look realistic and, and play in a way where it's going to reward you if you're a hardcore footballer and actually a hardcore football fan. Something that I'm fully aware of, um, a lot of the users might know, is that I used to run uh, many websites, gaming websites, PEZ, and actually FIFA as well. <gasps> oh no. my God. Shh, shh. Um, you get but, fired out of Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But so I do understand what the fans of definitely want in a football game, not just Pez fans yeah. as well. So I think the true football fans are game agnostic. They want the yeah. best football experience. And, exactly. You know. Exactly. And I feel like with this new engine it's, it's an excuse that, that fans might have heard in the past where we've always talked about the limitations of us having an engine and um, the limitations of us having you know things that we would like to do like the animations and the visuals and stuff like that and not being able to do it and we, and we were very quick to, to actually blame the old engine and um, this time we have a brand new engine and we want to show people what we can do and that for me is a big enough reason for people to actually give us a chance you know let us prove to you that we actually understand um what you guys have wanted over the years and you know people like yourself dan who 
huge Pez fans in the past. I think everyone is. I think a lot of people um, in the office as well. Yeah. Like, there's loads of people in the office, and they tend to only play sports games when they come in. We play them at lunchtime. These are people in our marketing and sales teams. And they all have really fond memories of Pez. I think now they think they always perceive it as a kind of a bit more of a trickier game to get into, a bit more yeah. of a skillful, sophisticated game. Is that a fair perception, do you think? Yeah, definitely. And I, and I do think that we are going to be catering to a more football-centric user than a, a more casual pick-up and yeah. play user. But it's not something that we regret doing. You know, it's something that we actually... That's a conscious um, decision, oh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. And you have to as well, because I think as a, as a football fan, you, you know, you do have games it's only two really out there but they both sort of cater for a certain audience i feel yeah and i think if if we're giving the user the more authentic experience then i'm certainly happy with that totally so as you can see 90 minutes it was a very very fair and even game uh, very difficult as well uh, this is actually on the highest difficulty just so just, just, just put that out there as a disclaimer <laughs> yeah why i've not won five nil but as you can see mate possession stats are everything in football these days that's what it is yeah actually dominated that game. well i think in the next video you're going to probably take me on and i guess you'll probably score some goals then well it depends how good you are <laughs> terrible and <laughs> um, cheers adam thank you